happened on Instagram over the past year strayed very far away from what I envisioned. Honestly, it was just pressure. It made me think about all the things that I don't have. I am like disillusioned now. <laughs> I ended up needing confirmation. My sleeves go past my hands. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I have three new hobbies. <laughs> now that I have eight hours that I do not use for social media, it's like if you actually want to accomplish so many things, reconsider the way that you're spending your time. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Monica. Today I wanted to talk about why I've left Instagram for the past two months and just all my thoughts around Instagram, what I'm feeling about the platform right now, why I made the choice to leave, and just all of these thoughts that have been swirling around in my mind for the past two months that I haven't known what to do with them or how to feel about them or why I'm feeling them. Um, but I figured just being open in about these feelings and talking about them I don't know who else out there is feeling this way and maybe you guys can relate or maybe it'll open your eyes to something that you haven't considered about Instagram in the past regardless of your motivation for watching this video I am just going to literally rant about Instagram as a platform and just my life over the past two months and how it's been so different without having Instagram on my phone, which is crazy to say. So why did I choose to delete Instagram? I just felt like I wasn't in tune with my life like i wasn't fully into my life i spent a lot of time on my phone especially since i was content creating and using instagram as a regular user would on the platform so between those two i'm pretty sure this is crazy to say but my time on the platform was like average eight hours by the end of the week which i know sounds insane but when you're using it um not only for like pleasure but also for like monetary purposes it's easier to justify um so that's how that was happening for a while and i just hadn't had a break from instagram for about a year because i don't know if you guys remember but i went to toronto for my birthday last year and i just deleted the app and i didn't have it for a couple of weeks i think and that's what this little instagram hiatus was supposed to be just me off of the platform for two weeks which honestly turned into two months and i don't know when the next time i'm gonna be downloading instagram is and this video like i hesitated to make it because i don't want it to be something where i can't go back on my word like i know i'm eventually gonna have the app again so it's not like i'm never gonna have instagram again or something like this is not that kind of video i just want to, re to report what i found having not had it for two months and what has made me look at the platform differently so like i said i was using the platform for uh, content creating and blogging and basically I was trying to post consistently on the platform to raise followers, to gain traction, to kind of broaden my reach um, and attract followers and just new people that I don't know to my platform and essentially build a platform like the goal for instagram for me was to build a platform where i can share my life and document it like i love sitting here and talking to you guys like i know i'm just sitting in front of a camera but it's just fun to document my life like whether it's just for me or if it can help anybody that stumbles upon it um that was the purpose and still is and same thing with instagram i like come from a photography family my dad was and is a photographer uh, for many many years so i grew up on the other side of the camera and i just wanted to share my love for that on instagram and Honestly, eventually it was gonna turn into a platform where I could share writing. I love writing, it's something that I've done since I was little and it's something that I see myself doing as a career for many years and I wanted to be able to set up a platform where I could share that writing and 
I was building it while I wasn't sure what I was going to be writing about, how I was going to kind of become this writer that I envisioned myself becoming. So that being said, what happened on Instagram over the past like year, year and a half, strayed very far away from what I envisioned it being and honestly it was just pressure like pressure from seeing other creators on the platform like when I started I wasn't really familiar with content creators what they did who they were what the purpose of their job was how they made money from it none of that like I literally just started to use hashtags on my pictures and to visit the explore page and get a feel for other creators and make vision boards of what I loved and what I didn't like what I saw other creators doing and kind of shaping my life around that lifestyle around remembering to take photos when I, whenever I was doing something or going out for the purpose of creating content so Fast forward to like what a year and then some change. I can't help but notice the way that Instagram changes everything about me. Like and in some ways it's great and other ways I just literally can't believe that a social media platform can have that much power. Like it just blows my mind because let's say for instance the way that I dress like in these two months that I've been off Instagram I've I've gone shopping I don't know how many times because it's almost liberating to shop for things that I want and I see myself wearing and I want to make an outfit out of and not shop for things because they're cool or in style or I saw some influencer had them like the amount of things that I've purchased because other influencers are wearing them is just absolutely insane and you guys know if you follow me on Instagram that I'm not one of those creators that's like heavy into fashion like I'm not um, like fashion inspo like I'm not trying to be but just the pressure of wearing an outfit that other people would want to purchase in these images just like took over completely and honestly it put me in a place of lack like it made me think about all the things that i don't have like all the things that i needed all the things that i wanted and i focused less on all the things that i do have and that's just not the person that i want to be that's not the way that i want to think because i know that no matter what you have if you don't appreciate what you have you're always going to be in a state of lack so i just don't want that for myself and once I noticed it I just wanted to rework you know rework my mindset around that and change it another thing I really noticed is the fact that I was so insistent on looking at other people's lives I don't even know how to explain it you don't even know that you're doing it like you don't purposely go on to Instagram to look at other people's lives like I after deleting the app, I would pick up my phone absent-mindedly, being like, oh wow, I don't have anything to look at on my phone. Like, I don't know why I picked it up. Like, I was gonna look at Instagram, but I don't even have it. And why was I gonna look at Instagram? Like, I think in moments of weakness or in moments where I didn't know what to do or I didn't know how to react to something or I, like, was confused or lost or any of these pivotal moments that we should be opening our eyes to and paying attention to, I was instead, like, blocking it out by looking at my phone um and in doing that i was essentially like hiding away from a lot of growth potential another thing is looking at people's lives and i'm sure there are tons of people that feel the way the same way about looking at my life like instagram by nature the app forces you almost to paint a picture of yourself and to post things about yourself that almost show your highlight reel and that's one of the reasons why I haven't downloaded it again downloaded it again because I don't know how to paint an accurate picture of my life and not make others feel like I'm trying to paint a picture that isn't real and at the same time I want to if I want to post a certain picture and I want to post a certain like group of pictures, I don't want to feel like I can't do that because I'm making another person feel uncomfortable. Like I want to be able to step into my own light and share my life the way that I want to and not feel like I have to hold myself back for other people. So it's like this tug of war that I'm playing and I don't know how to like 
act on the platform essentially um i think another big big part of this and i feel like there are a lot of people out there who might feel the same way but this is hard to admit but looking at the lives of other people is really detrimental to the way that i live my own and i think that i'm in like a pivotal moment right now where i'm changing a lot of things about my career about my lifestyle um getting back into a lot of things that i lost in the past and i just feel like i I slow down my progress when I'm looking at someone else's progress like I feel hindered I feel stuck in my tracks and honestly it just gives me anxiety like it gives me anxiety to look at all these people doing all these things and looking at their highlight reel like I'm comparing my chapter like 5 to someone else's chapter 15 20 like I don't know the hardships that a person overcame to show me that one milestone in their life that one picture on instagram that i'm judging my chapter five it literally could be chapter 100 this person could have been like kicked in the dirt to accomplish this goal but i and we all tend to will compare myself to that person and that's not fair to me because that's not fair to the potential that i see for myself i don't deserve that and nobody does like you guys don't deserve it either like if you're doing that to yourself please try to actively focus in on what am i doing here you know like am i comparing myself to this person and is that a fair judgment to pass on myself or should i not be comparing these two things right now should i just take life as it comes Another reason why I chose to delete Instagram and why I haven't downloaded it again is because for some reason when I had it, the first thing I would do when I would open my eyes in the morning is look at Instagram. And that sounds crazy, but I would do it because it would wake me up. Like my alarm clock wouldn't wake me up and I would like wake up, turn off my alarm clock and keep sleeping. But I knew if I like scrolled through Instagram, I'd get like interested in what people were posting and it would like make me wake up for the day. So I started that habit and would just look at people's Instagrams first thing in the morning. And as I was getting ready, I'd be looking at people's Instagrams and the key turning point where I realized that this was so detrimental to my health is the fact that I would wake up in the morning and after like five minutes of scrolling, not even, I had anxiety. My chest was literally heavy every single morning and I couldn't figure out what was causing it until I started thinking, hey, maybe I need to not look at my phone first thing in the morning. So I started making that a habit. I'd wake up in the morning, do my morning routine without checking my phone for like at least 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And that anxiety had completely melted. Like, I can't explain to you the fact that that anxiety is, it's non-existent in my life anymore. And that just blows my mind that something like social media was physically making me have a reaction. Like I was physically getting sick from it. Um, and that just, it's shocking. Like that is shocking. If you guys know me or have seen my Instagram and follow me, you know that I love Instagram. So like the fact that I am like disillusioned now <laughs> is driving me crazy and makes me feel like I don't know what to do because I do love Instagram and I do want to keep creating on the platform. I still want to be making a platform for my writing. So I think going forward, less about creating this feed and creating this life and all these things that i got caught up in there are so many times where i want to post a picture that i know is not going to get a good response it's not going to get a ton of likes it's maybe going to move me down in the algorithm and like all these different things that content creators tend to consider and i want to slip on the platform when i no longer care about those things because it's really not about the likes like i i think that i ended up needing confirmation you know i needed people to like my pictures like i needed to be liked like i didn't want to say things that i didn't think everybody would agree with and you know as a writer as an artist like the most powerful art is art that makes people feel things and that might not necessarily always be a positive feeling you know, like sometimes art disturbs you and it makes you 
uncomfortable and hurt and that means that it's getting through especially with writing so i just want to be authentic to me and share my authentic viewpoint regardless of how that makes someone else feel because that's the point and I also want to lean more towards writing and towards all the things that I love. Something that I am so proud of in the past two months that I've been able to do is take on these new hobbies. Like I have like three new hobbies. <laughs> now that I have eight hours that I do not use for social media, like I'm more confident in myself. I'm more confident in my life. I like, I have a wardrobe that I love that I do not care what other people think of. Like my sleeves, go past my hands i don't give a shit <laughs> and like i also just created a writing binder and i'm gonna make youtube videos for you guys on what a writing binder is what i'm gonna use this for um i've started writing a book which i've talked about for years but it's actually coming to life now um i also started scrap what's the word that i'm making for it if you guys know the actual word for this please let me know but i'm calling it scrap journaling so it's a scrapbook and a journal mixed together so it's like clippings and washi tape and collectible stickers and little items and trinkets mixed with writing so it's just a way for me to document my life in a very artistic way hold on i'll show you guys that journal So this is the journal that I've been using for that, um, which I also want to show you guys some videos of once I've made some more waves in it because it has just started. I've also been journaling like crazy. What else? I read a book for the month of February and I'm looking for book number two and I just want to make a habit of reading books more regularly. All of these things that I've had time for that have nothing to do with scrolling on a platform and judging myself, like I'm grateful for them. If you actually want to accomplish so many things and you see yourself doing so many things, please, 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 please reconsider the way that you're spending your time, the amount of just progress that i've made in my life in the past two months has been utter insanity compared to the past year i guess i don't know it's just crazy guys honestly i can see myself editing this video and being like damn i should have mentioned that and i should have mentioned that other thing and there's something that i was going to say before that i forgot and like I just, I don't know, I just gotta put this out there. Let me know your thoughts, please. Comment below if you've ever felt like this or if you've been thinking about deleting Instagram. I wanna know other viewpoints. What do you guys think of this? Like, am I going crazy? <laughs> am I never gonna reinstall Instagram? Who knows, we'll see. I might download Instagram to post this video because I want to, I wanna show you guys this. Like, I want you to see my thought process and just open your eyes to a different point of view, I guess. Um, so the irony of that will not be lost on me. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything, guys. Um, please let me know if this video was helpful to you or like I said, comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get a notification when I post another video. Tons more is coming, tons of creative stuff that I haven't done before. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.